So this BH stands for Brahman area. It's named after a neurologist who had painstakingly um, characterized different regions of the brain based on histological differences. And, he, and so the exact numbers are not significant. But what we need, do need to know is that there's a motor area which can cause movement. There's a premotor area. So the motor area here is in the green. The premotor area, as name implies, is before the motor, so it's premotor. The premotor here is the lighter green, which is an off Brahman area number six, is involved in the preparation of movement, whereas motor area is actually the actual movement part itself. But within this premotor area, the medial portion you can see has that more teal or forest green color. That part has a different name. It's called a supplemental motor area. Okay? And what the supplemental motor area does is that it initiates complete sequence of movement. So if you're dealing with, let's say, a, a kid with aphasia, not aphasia, a kid with the autism who is nonverbal, how do you get them to initiate that movement? You need to work on this area to get things started. It's not cerebellum, they co that coordinates complicated sequence of movement. But to start it, to jump start it, that part comes from the supplementary motor area. And it is actually the same area that is exactly where the chorea tremor line is located in, um, in, uh, in the gel style of acupuncture. So by stimulating this area that initiates movements, it is able to, to um, um, in, initiate proper contraction as opposed to spastic contraction. Uh, or think of spastic as involuntary contraction that is there all the time. If it can initiate, it can also turn off. This is why I mentioned this area can, is beneficial for Parkinson patients as well, because it can turn off that involuntary movement. So this is examples of the MRI research I've, I've done. What we've done is we mapped out the points on the scalp by doing MRI studies to see which part of the cort surface of the cortex of the brain correspond to. So you can see that, you know, uh, even though the, the, you might not be familiar with the numbers, uh, but four was, if you remember from the last, that was a motor area, six was the premotor area. So, and so the medial portion of that premotor area was a supplementary motor area. So if you needle gallbladder, uh, sorry, bladder six towards bladder seven, you're gonna cover that supplementary motor area. So. Um, it just gives you a lot more precision. Um, uh, and what's actually pretty crazy in itself is you look at the point bladder seven, bladder seven is exactly at the separation of the motor and sensory cortex, motor and somatosensory. There are actually points that right, fall right on that line. It's amazing how the ancient acupuncturists know this. And this is not based on one patient, one person. We average 12 people, and that was, this is the average finding. 